Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to reinstall your MetaMask wallet on a new computer or in a new browser. So let's get started. So if you've purchased a new computer or you want to put your MetaMask in a new browser, you're going to be faced with the MetaMask install screen. MetaMask is device dependent. So if you're on a new device or in a new browser, it's not going to see your old wallets. So how do you move all of your MetaMask wallets onto a new computer? I'm gonna show you how to do this. The most important thing you're going to need is the 12 word recovery phrase that you wrote down when you first set up your MetaMask on your original machine or browser. Also, if you are using a Ledger device for any of your MetaMask accounts, you're going to need that as well. So we'll start with the 12 words. So the first thing we'll do is go ahead and install MetaMask in our new browser. We just hit Add to Chrome and go ahead and add the extension. All right, and once you've done that, you'll be at the welcome screen. You'll go ahead and get started. You can agree or disagree to improve their metrics. Now, when you get to this screen, you're going to want to pull out that 12 word recovery phrase that you wrote down when you set up your first MetaMask. You'll choose import wallet, and then you'll get this screen where you're going to enter your 12 word recovery phrase. So you should have written that down on a piece of paper and had it stored in a safe place. If you don't know what happened to that 12 word recovery phrase, there's not a whole lot you can do. If you still have access to the old machine, you could set up a brand new MetaMask on the new machine and then simply transfer your assets from the old wallet to the new wallet. But the better and easier solution is if you have your 12 word recovery phrase. All right, after you've written in all of your words, you'll go ahead and set up a new password. It doesn't matter what password you use, this is completely new. You can use the same password you were using before, or you can choose a new password. It doesn't really matter. Just remember the password that you choose. We'll go ahead and hit import, and then we're all done. All right, now notice here that it takes us to the uh, original account that you created when you set up your MetaMask. And also notice up here that it's on the Ethereum mainnet. This is the default network for MetaMask. If you had additional networks set up, I'll show you how to get those done here in a minute. But let's just focus on the account. So we've got this account number one. Now, a lot of you may have only been using account number one, and that's where all of your assets are, and that's great. But if you had more than one MetaMask account set up, you're probably wondering, how do I get access to those accounts? Well, that's really easy, and this is kind of a trick that a lot of people don't realize, is that if you go to your new MetaMask and hit Create Account here, you can choose to name it whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it at the default, Account 2. We'll hit Create. And lo and behold, I've just created a new account that has a balance because that is one of the accounts that I created before. So the base account, account number one, that is based on that 12 word recovery phrase has all of the information in there to recreate all of those accounts that you created on your original machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and create another one. Notice that also has a balance. I'll go ahead and hit create account again. All right, and I'm gonna do it one more time because I had about five accounts on my old machine. And you'll see here that account number five also has a balance. Now, if you had those accounts named on your old computer, you can go ahead and rename them whatever you want on the new computer. Just hit these three dots hit account details, and then you've got this edit field here. So I'm just gonna call this one CryptoDadMain 
because that's the account that I was using for a lot of my uh, Binance Smart Chain stuff. Now, notice here that it sees my Ethereum, and you may have put in some ERC-20 tokens into your wallet that aren't showing up here. Now, it does see a couple of them here. It says two new tokens found in this account. If you were storing some obscure tokens, you probably want advanced token protection. It's a new feature that can be found in the settings. So just go over here to this account icon, go down to settings, and you want to choose advanced. You can scroll down here to enhanced token detection. Just go ahead and turn that on. All right, and then you can hit this X to dismiss this screen. And now we can choose refresh list, maybe even refresh in the browser. Go ahead and click where it says new tokens are found. And it sees some ERC-20 tokens that I had in my previous wallet. Right. And you'll need to do that in all of your accounts. So if we go back up here to account one, I can hit refresh list. I guess not. All right. You can see it found a token in my account number two. And we'll do this in account number three. And that will uh, sort of repopulate all of the ERC-20 tokens that you may have been using. Now, also, if you had alternate networks in your old MetaMask, you want to go ahead and get those set up again as well. And there is an easy way to do this. You don't need to do everything manually. Uh, in the old days, you had to go down here to settings and then to networks. And then when you chose add network, you had to put in all of these settings uh, manually. You don't have to do that anymore. There's a great site called chainlist.org and chainlist.org has all of the popular alternate networks on the EVM or what's called the Ethereum virtual machine. And this is compatible with MetaMask. So all you have to do to add all of these alternate networks is connect your wallet. MetaMask is going to pop up and it'll, you can check all these off if you want to, but you don't need to. One is enough because the networks will be across all of your accounts by default anyway. So as long as you have one of them chosen, you can click next and then just choose connect. Notice that when I do that, it went from connect wallet to add to MetaMask. So the Ethereum mainnet is already there, right? And we'll close this off. You can see I've got Ethereum mainnet, but nothing else. So we can go over to chain list. We'll add Binance Smart Chain. We can click add to MetaMask. And there are all those network settings. They set them up for you automatically. We'll go ahead and click approve there. And you can switch over if you want to. And then when we go over to MetaMask, you'll see now that I'm on Binance Smart Chain and that I have added that additional network to my MetaMask. And it also detects the BNB tokens that I had in this wallet. If we choose Refresh List, you can see it found some more tokens. So I can add those as well. So you'll see that it detects all of your uh, Binance Smart Chain tokens that you had in your wallet previously as well. All right, let's go over to Chainlist. Let's go ahead and add the Avalanche Chain. We can click Approve there. Uh, we can switch to Network and go over and check. There's no Avalanche in this account, but as you can see, we can also switch to the other accounts and your Avalanche tokens show up. And then you also have some uh, sub tokens that are detected as well. All right, I'll just go ahead and add a few more networks here. We can choose approve on Polygon. I don't need to switch right now. I can go down to Phantom and add that. Click approve there, but I don't need to switch. Uh, go down here to uh, Moon River. I had that one before. We'll click approve there. And then I've got Moonbeam as well, right? So just go ahead and add all of the networks that you had on there before, and you'll have access to all of those tokens that you had stored on the other networks. Like if I switch over to Moonbeam here, you can see that I've got some Glimmer tokens. 
All right. We'll go back over to the uh, Binance Smart Chain. Now that I've switched to Binance Smart Chain in this account, I can uh, refresh the list and it found a bunch of tokens. As I mentioned earlier, this is one of the accounts that I was using to manage a lot of Binance Smart Chain tokens. Not too much left there right now, but I'll go ahead and import those. It'll import all of the tokens that you were managing in the wallet before. All right, so there you go. I've showed you how to uh, reinstall MetaMask and import all of your old accounts back in just based on that 12 word recovery phrase. But what if you also had some uh, hardware accounts in here? Notice all of these accounts are what's called standalone accounts. They're based on MetaMask and the private key is stored on my computer. Uh, what if you had some ledger accounts? Well, those are really easy to re-add, right? All you need is your ledger device. Make sure that your device is connected with a cable to your computer and that you have your pin entered. And then also you'll want to make sure that you're in the Ethereum app on your device. You can scroll over to the Ethereum app and click both buttons. And once you're in the Ethereum app, you'll be able to connect your device and reaccess any accounts that you had based on your ledger, right? We'll just click the uh, account icon up here. We'll choose connect hardware wallet. In my case, I'm using a ledger. If you've got a Trezor, you'll use Trezor. Uh, I'm just going to click on Ledger and choose Continue. Right? And then notice there, it wants me to go ahead and pair it up. Like I said, if you don't get this screen, then you probably don't have the device connected or you're not in the Ethereum app. So make sure you've got the device connected and you're in the Ethereum app before you do this step. We'll click Connect. All right, and there's a, a few accounts here that have an Ethereum balance. I'll go ahead and tick two of these off. We'll choose unlock. And now you can see that I have access to my ledger based accounts. If we click this icon here in the top, I can switch to these ledger based accounts, right? And then I can also go over here to the Ethereum mainnet and I can see these other accounts, right? The Ethereum accounts. I can also click refresh list here and it finds tokens that I have stored on the uh, ledger-based account. I'll just click uh, import there, go ahead and bring those in, and you can see now that I have access to my ledger-based Ethereum accounts, All right? Pretty easy. I can go over here to the uh, ledger two and do that same thing. It finds all of the ERC-20 tokens that I have stored on this ledger-based wallet. We can go ahead and import those. So there you go. Now I have regained access to all of the accounts that I was managing in MetaMask. Uh, the standalone accounts here, which you can always rename if you want to, if you want to make them more meaningful to you. And then I've also regained access to my ledger-based accounts by simply reconnecting my ledger to my new MetaMask. So if you have any questions about anything that I've done, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.